Listen, on the fear thing, everybody experienced the exact same thing you're going through. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You know, you talk about people being afraid. Yeah. And I'm just trying to squash that, I guess. Mm. Um, I'm new to Alabama, so my circle is very small. Okay. And I'm a stay-at-home mom, so my like, I, it's just um, you know, I'm gonna have to just get over it and yeah, force myself to meet people. I'm a talker. I'm gonna say you're so. Like, I, you know, I just have to like find people to talk to. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you got my <laughs> You definitely got the talking thing down. I think that uh. Listen, on the fear thing, everybody experienced the exact same thing you're going through. Like, I was scared. Every single person, every single per I don't care who they are, Ryan Serhant, you know, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee, all of them, every single person was scared. And they continue to be scared. See, the thing is, is when you grow, you're always pushing that comfort zone and doing something that scares you. So when you're when you're getting you're putting yourself in these situations that scare you, that that's you growing, that's you doing something that's going to put yourself in a better position and make and create a better life for you. So the problem is is the fear you have right now. A lot of agents they get over that fear because the fear you have right now isn't that big of a deal. Once you get in real estate, you realize okay that wasn't as bad as I thought, and you're kind of doing some things. But then you stay in that comfort zone, like you moved up past that fear, but then you stayed right there and you didn't go to another fear and then another fear and another fear. See, see me, you know, I'm out here traveling the country, speaking to thousands. Like I traveled to Phoenix and talked to 250 agents. You know, the other day I'm going to Long Island next week to talk to those animals and you know like it's scary it can be scary you know but I know that I'm growing I know I know so I like I'm looking for the that next thing that's that's gonna put me out of my comfort zone because that's where you're gonna grow but that's kind of long term I'm talking like for right now just realize that every single person goes through what you're going through and that it's a good thing as far as like who do you talk to with all that talkativeness is like literally when you get in there just follow that 90 day action plan because like the very first day of the 28 like the 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 course is great but then the first day is a sunday and it's literally like relax with your family and then the next day is monday it's like call your sphere and then the next day next day we're going to call i think it's i don't know if I, I forget what the next day if it's circle prospecting or expire or i think it's for sale by owners like all these are like really just easy you know it, it eases you into it and it gets you kind of comfortable with what you need to be saying and how you need to be thinking and what you need to be doing you know what I mean so just take it day by day and just don't don't worry about it and through that program there's there's red X there's geo leads where you get you know 2,000 property owners whatever property owners you want whatever subdivision you want 2,000 phone numbers for those property owners you know if you need somebody to call if you need somebody to talk to you know there it's unlimited like you got to realize the population in Birmingham is what two million a million yeah, over two million. Yeah, over two million. I mean, there's two million people around, and and as a salesperson, you, you're going to have to talk to. See, I didn't call my sphere when I started because I knew that they weren't going to necessarily, probably not use me because they knew I were. They knew that I was a new agent, um, and I didn't want to sound salesy and make it an awkward thing at Thanksgiving. And I knew that uh, I knew that if I couldn't sell people I didn't know, I wasn't going to succeed anyway. So I was like, I'm just going to go straight for the people I don't know first because I know if I can't do that, I'm not going to be able to do this anyway. So I think I would have reversed that, you know, knowing what I know now because I would have approached my sphere in a real friendly, non-salesy way. You know what I mean? Um, which, by the way, there's a video uh, uh, in the course there, or like on YouTube, if you search Ricky Sphere of Influence or whatever, there's a video where I go through a script on how to talk to your sphere when you get into the business that doesn't sound salesy and it just it's just friendly and we're just here to help and you know all that kind of stuff so just dive into my stuff and just stand behind the fact that you're here to help people and don't care about what people think you know what i mean yeah exactly